Hi everybody, today we are going to tell you a nice story. We hope you enjoy it. The Hedgehog and the Hare's Husband One nice Sunday morning, the Hedgehog was so happy, standing at the door with his hand crossed, singing to himself. Suddenly, you could go for a ride around the file to your turnips. He had not been far from his house when the husband of the hare who had come to visit his cabbages was moving. When the hedgehog saw the hare's husband, he greeted him friendly. He replied with comfort. How can you think of running here in the file so early in the morning? I'm taking a walk, said the hedgehog. A walk, said the hare's husband with a mocking smile. I think you should use your legs for a very reason. That answer made the hedgehog furious and replied. It seems you think you can do better things with your legs than I can with mine. Exactly, that is what I think, said the hare's husband. You have to test that, said the hedgehog. I bet if we do a race, I will beat you. That's ridiculous, replied the hare's husband. You with those short legs, but for my part, I am willing. And what do we bet? A gold coin, said the hedgehog. Done, replied the hare's husband. Let's get started right away. Oh, oh, said the hedgehog. There is no such rush. I still haven't had breakfast, I will go home first, had a small breakfast, and in half an hour I will be back in this same place. Dad agreed, the hedgehog withdrew, and the hare's husband was satisfied with the deal. On the way, the hedgehog talked to himself. The hare's husband relies on his long legs, but I will find a way to make the best of him. He's very big, but he's a very navy guy, and he's going to pay for that he has said. Thus, when the hedgehog arrived at his house, he said to his wife, Wife, dress quickly like me. You must go to the fire with me. I've made a bet with the hare's husband for a gold coin. I'm going to have a career with him, and you must be present. When they were on their way together, the hedgehog said to his wife, Now pay attention to what I'm going to say. Look, I'm going to make the long file the root of our career. The hare's husband will run in one furrow and I am in another and we will start running from the top. Now all you have to do is stand down here in the furrow and when the hare's husband reaches the end of the furrow opposite you, you should yell at him and down here. And they came to the file and the hedgehog showed the place to his wife and he went up to the top. When he got there, the hare's husband was already waiting. Shall we start? said the hare's husband. And saying it, they placed themselves in their positions. The hedgehog count. One, two, three, get out. And they let themselves go downhill like fireballs. Whoever the hedgehog only ran about ten steps and stopped. And stood still there. When the hare's husband came rushing to the bottom of the file, the hedgehog's wife yelled at him. And here, the hare's husband was stunned and did not understand an iota, not thinking that no other than the hedgehog was the one who called him, since the hedgehog's wife looked exactly like the hedgehog. The hare's husband, whoever, though that was not well done and shot it. We must run again, let's do it again. And once again it came of blowing like the wind in a storm, and seemed to fly. But the hedgehog's wife stayed very still in the place where she was, 
So when the hair's husband reached the top of the file, the kid shock yelled at him. And here, the hair's husband, already very annoyed with himself, shoot it. We must run again, let's do it again. Very good, replied the headshot. For my part, I will run as many times as you want. So the hair's husband ran 73 more times and the headshot always came for war against him and every time he got up or down, the headshot or his wife yelled at him and here. On match day 74, however, the hair's husband was unable to reach the end. Halfway down the train, he fell in conditions to the ground, all sweaty and gasping for breath, and so the headshot took the gold coin and the bottle of brandy he had earned. He called his wife and they both returned home with great delight. And they say that then the heart had to go to pick up her husband and carry him on his shoulders to his house to recover. And he never made fun on the headshot again. This is how it happened when the headshot ran the hair's husband so many times until he was exhausted and passed out uh, in the furrow. And since then, no heart on her husband wants to run in competition 